Hi guys, Cindy here from Pleasant Sims. Welcome to episode 59 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing Daniel and Kaylin Pleasant, who were just married in episode 58. They live here in the Pleasant Vista Apartments. It is tax day for Kaylin, and they have a net worth of 4,500 simoleons, which is not much. And after deductions, they end up getting a refund of 1,000 simoleons. I'm going to go ahead and load the lot. And as we load the lot, it is about 6 a.m. here on Monday morning. Kaylin has to go to work in about an hour, and she is just getting up for the day. And we have a couple of housekeeping things that we need to take care of. First of all, we need to give them their tax refund, so they are going to get 1,000 simoleons. Oh my gosh, and check this out. Kaylin just rolled the want to have a baby. I'm so happy. I knew she would roll that want again since she is newly married and she is a family sim. So we're going to lock that in for her, and we will have she and Daniel try for baby once she gets home from work today. And I just want to check and see uh, Daniel also has to work today from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. He is still level 9 in the athletic career as a coach. He is way up there on the ladder, which is going to help them tremendously in saving up money for a house. Because Kaylin does want to have a baby and raise a family, she wants to get out of this apartment. So I'm just going to use the cheat ka-ching just to give them 1,000 simoleons. That makes things nice and easy. And now they have 5,586 simoleons in cash. We're going to get Kaylin ready for work, and while we do that, we also need to roll Daniel's secondary aspiration. Daniel has never been given a secondary aspiration, so we are going to calculate that for him now using my secondary aspiration calculator. And I will be right back with the results of that. And here are the results of Daniel's secondary aspiration. He is going to be a secondary fortune sim according to his interests. And that kind of makes sense to me because he's always been really into status and prestige prestige and making a lot of money at work. So it really does suit him to be a secondary fortune sim. We're going to go ahead and give him that secondary aspiration now. And as he gets older, he's probably going to want to spend more of his money that he's worked so hard earning for his entire life. And he still has three remaining points. I think he has more aspiration benefit points than any other living sim. I'm going to go ahead and give him slower energy decay. We'll give him Skilled Negotiator and Slower Fun and Comfort. So one good thing about that is his needs are going to go down a lot slower, and that's going to be very helpful whenever he's an elder with a brand new baby. Now, I did unlock his wants to woohoo with 10 different sims and date 10 different sims just to give him a chance to be faithful to Kaylin. I don't know if he will remain faithful to her, but I just wanted him to re-roll all of his wants after his marriage so we could see, you know, where he really is in his life. So we're going to get these two ready for work and we will catch up with them whenever they get home to try for baby. All right, so we got a chance card today for Kaylin whenever she was at work. It says, Kaylin is called to substitute for Miss Morrington, who has won the Teacher of the Year Award for the past three years. A bit intimidated, Kaylin takes a deep breath and arrives in the classroom to find its inhabitants have gone insane. She pulls a child down from the ceiling and demands to know what's going on. It appears that Miss Morrington never actually taught. She just bribed the children with candy and falsified their report cards. Miss Morrington has a lot of power with the school board, making it risky for Kaylin to reveal the conspiracy. Desperate times call for desperate measures. What should Kaylin do to get the classroom under control? Well, Kaylin is a very good person. I think she's going to report Miss Morrington's scheme. Oh my gosh, yes! Though some have a hard time grasping the truth, the principal is quick to recognize Kaylin's efforts, and she promotes her to elementary school teacher to replace the disgraced Miss Morrington. Awesome! Kaylin just got a promotion to elementary school teacher, and I know she is super happy about that. Oh yeah, look at her. She is very proud of herself. <laughs> So, from arts and crafts to mathematics, you will fill your students' heads with worldly knowledge. Just make sure they don't fill their ears with glue. Kayla now works from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., and she brought home about 1,500 simoleons, which is really great. Now they have 7,000 simoleons saved up. Now, they are not investing because they don't have a computer at this time. I think maybe uh, we'll have to buy one for them so that Daniel can invest this money and get them some of that sweet interest. And Kaylin's just going to come in. She loves reading the newspaper. That's one of her favorite things to do. And I want to have her play with Teddy because she didn't have a chance to play with him this morning. And then she wants to eat cereal. I don't know if it's too late to make cereal. Yeah. 
So she's going to play with Teddy, like straighten up around the house and wait for Daniel to get home so they can try for baby. All right, well, Kaylin was just cooking salmon croquettes and she caught the kitchen on fire. Luckily, the fire department is on the way. Please hurry up and put this out before it destroys the stove. Oh my goodness, Kaylin. She usually has no problem cooking those high level meals, so I don't know what happened. Things just went bad. Okay, she can get them out now. <laughs> Gotta run, please be more careful next time. And she's like, you know what? I think I'll just turn on the stereo while you extinguish this fire in my kitchen. Ooh, there's Kevin Burb. All right, so she burnt the salmon croquettes. She's gonna eat one anyway. <laughs> Daniel should be home in about 45 minutes. Daniel returned home from work and he earned 2,400 simoleons. I mean, he makes some serious money. It's kind of weird that they live here in this pretty low class apartment, but that's because Daniel lost everything in his divorce and Kayla never had anything to begin with. So it won't take them long at all to save up enough money for a house. I think maybe one, maybe one and a half rounds, they should have enough. Um, but right now, Kaylin has one thing on her mind and that is trying for baby. So we're gonna have them go relax in bed. And we are gonna get this show on the road. And look, Daniel wants to woohoo. Oh, and he also wants to reach top of the athletic career. I'm definitely gonna lock that in for him because he is very close. All right, here they go. All right, so we're gonna have Kaylin uh, try for baby. And if this one doesn't work, they will try again tomorrow and they'll just keep trying until she gets pregnant or until she gets too old to get pregnant. Um, right now, Kaylin is 50 years old and Daniel is 68. So she is pretty old, but remember Sims in my game can get pregnant until they're about uh, 56, 57. So she still has plenty of time. All right, and now they're gonna take a nap. Don't take a nap, wake up. <laughs> it's only four in the afternoon. Wake up Daniel and come get some of these delicious burnt salmon croquettes. So we should know by tomorrow around four or five o'clock if Kaylin uh, got pregnant or not. That's pretty much all she wants in the world right now. She finally got Daniel to commit to her and now she just wants to have his baby. Even though he's not gonna be around, you know, for the child's entire life, he'll be there for a good portion of it. He still has, he's like I said, he's 68, so he still has about 12 years left in his life. He may get to see his child age up to a teenager. I'm sure that he never dreamed that he would have another child at the age of 68. I was just watching Teddy here. These little womrats are so cute. It's about seven o'clock now on Monday night and Lilith just came over to visit. I am so happy about that. She came over to visit her dad. She came right in and started dancing, of course. She's showing up Kaylin with Kaylin's terrible dance moves. <laughs> and Daniel went to the bathroom and they're just pretty much ignoring her. So when he comes out, we'll have Daniel come and chat with her. He wants to have a good reputation. Oh, that's sweet. Maybe he is starting to turn his life around in his old age and realizing that he doesn't want to go sleeping all over town. I don't know. We'll have to see. Because if you remember when he was with Mary Sue, he did go through a brief period where he was faithful to her, but eventually his his wandering eye got the better of him. All right, so let's have him go and talk to Lilith since she did come all the way over here to visit him. She's just really enjoying dancing here in the living room. Now you might notice that Lilith's hair looks different from the last time you saw her, and that's because I went back to my Maxis Match hair. Um, the other hairs I was using, they were clipping really badly and I just, I didn't care for it. So I wanted, I just went back to full Maxis match. And I think Lilith looks really adorable in this hair. And she and Daniel are getting along so well. I'm so happy that he has a good relationship with one of his daughters. He doesn't really get along with Angela. Well, it's not that he doesn't get along with her. He's just not that close to her. Alright, and let's have Kaylin come and talk to Lilith too. Maybe Kaylin and Lilith can have some sort of a relationship. She wants to talk about her hobby. 
Let's have her talk about tinkering. And let's see how this goes. Come on. All right. And Caitlin's had a very good week. She's going to reroll her once now. Now she has a bunch of knowledge ones. She wants to gain a mechanical skill point and a logic skill point. And she has all the skills she needs actually to get promoted again. Oh, they're all bowing to each other. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was funny. So they're going to have a nice visit with Lilith. It's about 9 o'clock and Kaylin is very tired. So I think she's going to go ahead and go to bed. And Daniel's still wide awake, of course. So he's going to finish visiting with Lilith and then he will join Kaylin in bed. Well, it is Tuesday morning and Kaylin's off at work. Daniel's doing some dancing here in the kitchen. <laughs> and he has he is off today and he has several wants that we could fulfill. So he wants to ask us him on a date and he wants to public woohoo. I think we could interpret these wants as that he wants to do these with Kaylin and not with another sim because he has no wants to date other sims right now. He also wants to go for a jog. I think I'll send him for an early morning jog and then have him reach the top of the athletic career or work towards reaching the top of the athletic career by working on his mechanical and charisma skills. We are going to try and at least give him a short period of time where he's faithful to Kaylin. So let's send him for a jog. It is winter time here in Pleasant View, and it's quite cold outside right now. So he's going to wear his winter clothes to go jog. Oh, nope, he's going to change into his exercise clothes here, which look pretty warm. And when he gets back, he's going to work on his skills until Kaylin gets home. And while he was jogging, he actually rolled the want to gain a charisma skill point and a mechanical skill point, and he no longer wants to ask a sim on a date. So that's good for us. Um, once he gets back, we'll have him study mechanical because that's the e gonna be the easier one to get. And then he needs two more charisma skill points, which are gonna be hard because it's number nine and 10. So it's gonna take a lot more practice. Oh, wow. So Daniel's back and studying and we just got a pop-up that 200 simoleons is added to bills and subtracted from Daniel's child support behind payment accounts. Wow, I think Daniel is the first Sim who's ever been behind on his child support. And it must have been whenever he was living over at the flop house and had like nothing to his name. <laughs> so he's going to try and actually pay these bills before Kaylin gets home because he doesn't want her to know that he's behind. Oh, and also the rent is due. Uh oh. All right, let's go pay the rent and let's pay the bills before Kaylin gets home so she doesn't find out that he's behind on his child support. Like, that's the last thing he wants to tell her. I know you, we just got married, and by the way, I owe back child support to uh, my my ex-wife. Okay, here we go. So he's going to pay these, pay all bills. And then he's going to go right back to studying his mechanical skill. It's now 6 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon. Oh my gosh. Kaylin just called me over. She just got her first baby bump, guys. Kaylin is pregnant with a little one on the way. Kaylin's been placed on maternity leave. Now it's time to kick back and get a little rest and relaxation before the big day. So she actually did get pregnant whenever she and Daniel tried for baby yesterday. And that means we're going to have a new baby about 8 p.m. on Thursday. I'm so excited. And I know Kaylin is just going to be so happy. Wow, look at that look on her face. <laughs> what is that? to have her own child. And this might be her only chance to have a child before Daniel passes away. So I'm so excited for her. So we're going to keep an eye on her. We're going to take care of her needs. Boy, she loves these salmon croquettes. She's constantly making these things. She loves them. Uh, Daniel was really tired from his day of jogging and studying mechanical skills so he went to take a nap. After she finishes cooking dinner, I'm going to wake Daniel up and have her tell him about the baby. I'm so excited. I, you know, I was thinking I really wish I would have given her the super fertility trait. I think I'm going to go ahead and give it to her. I, it might be too late. It probably already is too late, but I'm going to go ahead and give it to her. Um, I usually don't give any of my Sims a super fertility trait, but because Kaylin is so late in her life trying to have a child, I think it makes sense that maybe we could get twins. Um, like I said, I think it's probably too late, but I'm just going to give it to her symbolically. Okay. <laughs> And then we're going to use up her other 
uh, point here on slower bladder and hygiene decay. All right, so Kaylin just told Daniel that she is pregnant, and he rubbed her belly. He knows that she's pregnant now, and he's very happy, as you can see. Um, he got a very positive interaction from that. He still does not want to date any other Sims, so hopefully this new baby will keep his mind here at home on his wife and new child. But he actually needs to go back to bed, and Kaylin's needs are going down really fast now, so we're going to take care of her needs and send her to bed as well. And another day has passed by, so it's Tuesday now. Kaylin is now 51 years old, and Daniel is 69. So they are definitely going to be older parents. Oh no, it's midnight, and Daniel and Kaylin are getting burgled. Oh my god, and I never bought them a burglar alarm. So we're going to have to wake Daniel up right now and send him to call uh emergency and before you ask no i never got the fight burglars mod yet so he can't fight the burglar he's just gonna have to come and call and hopefully he doesn't steal anything it's stupid gordon king oh my god hopefully he doesn't steal anything too valuable they don't really have anything very valuable what are you gonna take what are you gonna take okay what is he taking some hideous he took some hideous poster that was already on the wall Daniel, get up. <laughs> He's just taking his precious time over to the phone. He's like, whatever. No, don't take the table. Don't take the chair. Oh, uh, okay. He took one chair. Oh my God, Daniel. Did you call the police or what? He's just going to panic like an idiot. Come call the police. No, he took another chair. No. <laughs> no. Call the police station. Hurry up. He's taking all of their chairs. Okay, here comes the police. They're actually going to make it on time. I think this is the first time that's ever happened. No, don't take the stereo. That's their only form of entertainment. He totally took the stereo. He took all their chairs and their stereo. Okay, but here comes Dorian Cocker. Oh, he's going to get him. I can't believe this. I don't think I've ever been able to call the police and they actually come and get the burglar. That's never happened. Come on, Dorian. I'm rooting for you. Kaylin's just sleeping through all this. <laughs> you can do it. Get us our stuff back, Dorian. Come on. Gosh, this is the longest burglar fight ever. And Daniel's just washing dishes. He's like, I'll just leave it to you. Okay, so Dorian won. Yes, he arrested Gordon. I can't believe it. I just cannot believe that happened. <laughs> that never happens. You get in that car, Dor uh, Gordon. Gordon King. You know, we need a jail in Pleasant View. So that whenever a criminal gets arrested, we can put them in jail. Gordon belongs in jail. Maybe that'll be one of the next uh, lots that we build for Pleasant View. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you guys think about building a jail for Pleasant View. Do you have a jail in your neighborhood? And do you put your criminals there? Okay, so he arrested him, but we didn't get our stuff back? What is that? We didn't get any money or anything? <laughs> I think that's a fluke. I think we should have gotten our money. Oh, no, here it is. Nope. He's missing this object. Great. Okay, so he we're going to have to rebuy that stuff. Because for some reason, we didn't get our stuff back. And we didn't get any money back from the police department. Thanks a lot. So it's Wednesday at almost 6 a.m. Kaylin is awake. She was really hungry, so she's eating some leftover salmon for breakfast. And she wants to see the ghost of Gordon. <laughs> I don't blame her. Uh, Daniel told her about what happened last night that she slept through, and she was very upset. Uh, yeah, we'll subscribe to the Tinkering Magazine since both Daniel and Kaylin's hobby is tinkering. It might be nice for them to have that magazine around. And she also wants to buy a burglar alarm, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Just to make sure that that never happens again. Um, we'll put it over here on the wall. And that fulfilled that want for her. I don't think we're going to be able to fulfill the want of seeing Gordon's ghost. And let's see what Daniel's up to this morning. So he still wants to reach the top of the athletic career. He did get his mechanical skill that he needed, but now he needs to work on charisma. And he is off today, so he has plenty of time to work on that. He wants to go on a date, asks him on a date. 
and go jogging. He always wants to go jogging. So let's send him for his morning jog after he finishes his old man dancing there. And we need to take care of Kaylin's needs this morning. No, he's gonna go by himself. She is still actually very tired, but she had to wake up and eat. I think I'm gonna send her to the bathroom and then send her right back to bed. And there goes Kevin Burb off to work again. I love seeing him go to work. <laughs> And Nina, there goes Nina off to work. It is 6 p.m. here on Wednesday afternoon, and that means everybody's aged up again. So Daniel is now 70 years old, and Kaylin is 52. And Daniel's just in here doing a little cleaning, and Kaylin is cooking grilled chicken for dinner. They're going to sit down and have a nice dinner together. Uh, Daniel slept most of the day. He is really off on his schedule ever since they got burgled in the middle of the night. But he's still going to come and have dinner. As you can see, I just replaced the chairs with the cheapest possible chairs I could get. These are actually uh, custom content chairs that are made to match this cheap little table. Because the other chairs that were already here were like 500 simoleons each and I didn't want to spend their money on that. They just needed chairs to sit in. <laughs> They're trying to save up for a house still. So they're going to have this lovely dinner together. And it shouldn't be long before Kaylin gets her second baby bump. And I am just so excited about this. I'm so happy for Kaylin. She's finally going to get the family that she's always wanted. It it took her a long time to get what she wanted, but she got it. And she's doing so well now. Oh, here it comes. She's doing well in her career, in the education career. Oh, there it goes. And now she's thinking how hot Daniel is. Okay, finish eating your dinner. As I was saying, she's doing so well in her career. She is an elementary school teacher. She gets to work with children, which she really loves. She's not really that interested in school, but she loves working with kids. So it was a good career for her. And Daniel is doing great at almost at the top of his athletic career. And things are going really well for them. And like I said, probably next round, they're going to have enough money to be able to get out of the apartment and get themselves a house. And I know Daniel really wants to buy a house before he passes away just to make sure that Kaylin and the new baby uh, have a place, a comfortable place to live once he's gone. So he's going to pretty much see to that before the end. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in any of the mods I use or my gameplay rules. And if you want to support the channel, consider becoming a patron. For as little as $3 a month, you get access to my private Discord server, patron-only live streams, bonus videos, and more. Visit me at Patreon.com slash PleasantSims for more information on that. And don't forget to follow me on social media media. I am on Twitter, I am on Instagram, and I am also on Pinterest. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys with part two of this episode very soon, where Kaylin and Daniel finally have their baby. Thanks for watching.